Eva from DWC in Germany. Now it's the 7th of November, Friday. <coughs> we are in Costa Rica, in a place called Najanjo, on the property of uh, Ina, which is a school that uh, teaches different classes. And after one work of a project workshop on teaching decentralized and integrated water management, we uh, managed to finish a constructed wetland within uh, kind of a week uh, construction time. So I'll run you through a very brief introduction of how we uh, set up this wetland. So we took two types of water. One is the water from over there, which is the, the water from a bakery, a kind of a training bakery. So they produce kind of uh, wastewater, but not black wastewater, but it's kind of industry wastewater. But we also connected this uh, tower, this block of uh, toilets and showers for women, uh, for the boys and the girls. So this is kind of mixed wastewater. There's a collection chamber where we can separate the two water if we want. At the moment we combine it and put it in our sedimentation tank. This is our first sedimentation tank where all the water, all the mixed wastewater in this case, comes in. So what happens here is the sedimentation takes place, um, floating sedimentation and settling sedimentation. You can see already some things floating on the top which will not enter the next chamber, which is a chamber which is a bit clearer water. And you can see here already clearer water coming through the second chamber. Here we brought from Germany a piece called Schwalbeschicker, which is basically a mechanical device to, to push the water into the wetland on intervals. So we do not need any pump, any electricity. The complete system runs completely on gravity, so CO2 free, no energy needed. So completely hydraulical. So once this level goes up, it will be blocked on this metal thing. Then the water comes in, into the thing, it sinks down and one all the water has left the, the chamber, it will stop and then it waits until the next water level rises up. So you have a nice interval flushing system. So once that happens, the water travels through those pipes, again all by gravity. into this newly built wetland. You see here, the water arrives at this central distribution point. One pipe goes out this way, the other pipe going out that way. Which means the distribution of the wastewater is nice and even throughout the space, throughout the surface. So this morning, just a couple of hours ago, we planted the first plants and they already have some good water and enough food to, to grow. So sooner or later they will put their roots through the gravel and the sand uh, mix and will make a nice uniform wetland system to purify the wastewater. This thing is used for flushing on the, 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 on the, on the floor. We laid some pipes um, to, to distract the water back from the wetland. So we can flush the, the, the pipes on the floor with this little ex uh, entrance. So once the water travels through, it enters nicely this uh, collection chamber. This collection chamber is a chamber where we can actually do water analysis. We can also, this white pipe, we can also make sure then in, in drier season where there are not much people using wastewater, that the water can, can stay on the top so that the plants always have enough, uh, something to drink and to eat so the whole thing does not dry out. So eventually all the clear water will be then go into the area where we can use it for irrigation and other purposes. And uh, thanks to Ina and all the construction people here on the site, we're happy we managed to get this done within a, a week or 10 days solid work. Uh, a little bit interrupted by rain, but that was okay. So Friday, 7th of November, we're finished. And hopefully over the next uh, weeks and months, we get regular updates on the pictures to see how the plants are doing and how the water analysis uh, show us the results. Thank you very much.